provides us with a diverse and ever-increasing amount of data. But the way we currently search information can mean we just jump from one website to another to gather all the data we need. This is because answers provided by these searches continue to direct us to individual and isolated websites. For example, if you wanted to find bands which you and your friends all like, and who are playing in your area on specific dates, you most likely would use a web search engine, which would bring up a lot of individual websites with only parts of the answers to your questions. So you would end up comparing, copying, and pasting results from your search engines, from your friends' homepages, social networking sites, band and concert review sites, etc., endlessly to gather all the information you require, combine it, and draw conclusions from your past search experiences, or according to your preferences. Because your search engine does not know who your friends are, what they like, or what in your area means. Searching in this way does not allow you to search all these sites with just one question. Each of these websites are built using different standards and stores its information differently. That is what your search engine can't understand. The lack of harmonization hinders the real power of the internet as one huge base of knowledge. What is needed is a way that your computer can answer the question for you without you having to visit all these sites. This requires websites to have some extra information called resource descriptions or microformats, which your computer understands. These formats are embedded in the internal structure of the websites, also called the HTML markup. Resource descriptions and microformats tell automated programs that a web page talks about persons, events, musicians, etc., or which text block on the site is actually a band name, a date, or a location. This will help those programs to trawl through websites to easily collect, compare, and select all the information needed, and draw conclusions by automated reasoning techniques. More and more newspaper sites, encyclopedias like Wikipedia, movie databases, music portals, event sites, and personal websites are providing this helpful extra information to guide your computer when finding answers to your questions. Prototype search engines such as Syndice and Sigma collect and index this information and allow you to ask complex questions to the web. These questions will be translated by your computer to a language called Sparkle, which is the standard query language that allows you to formulate structured questions which your computer can answer for you. By matching your query to those sites on the web, which provide the relevant extra information. Combined with information available on your computer, new applications shall allow you to browse through the list of your friends who have published their music interests and will provide a list of bands which you and they both like, along with information about where and when in your area these bands are playing. You can then reuse this information directly to invite your friends to the concert. No more surfing frustratingly through lots of websites for what you want. This is the Semantic Web in action. And it is already here.